Want to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. And I am done. Okay, so I just finished up listening to The Gray Bastards by Jonathan French. This is the first book in the Lotlands series, and I want to give you my unedited thoughts upon finishing this book, which was just right now. Uh, so I like this book. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. Not the highest of 4 out of 5s. Um, it's not quite as low as to get a 3.5, but it is more on that side than the 4.5. Um, but I did like it a lot. and But I did remain a little bit frustrated because I felt like this book had the potential to be you know, an upper tier 5 out of 5 um, for a lot of reasons. Now, some of those are personal bias. I, If you watch this channel, you know that I like dark fantasy stories. And this is, by definition, a dark fantasy story. The world feels grim here. And I don't know why, because I'm a very upbeat, positive guy that likes to smile and be happy. But in my books, oh man, I love when bad stuff happens. I love an, like an evil, dark world. And this is a story about these half-orcs that are trying to make their way in this barren wasteland um, and hold down their lot um, up against everyone else around them. So as a little backdrop into this story, essentially what happened is um, the humans rule. They had an enormous battle with the, uh, with the orcs and, and they split this world in half. The humans took the good side, the sign that had you know fertile land and sunshine and rainbows in the upper half. And they told the orcs, um, the half orcs, now orcs and half orcs are different here. Orcs, think of them as like, you know, just like beastly and, you know, nothing, like they're not even able to communicate. Um, and half orcs are that middle ground. And so they told the half orcs, we're gonna give you these lots, like in, you know, like little fiefdoms um, in the southern, the lame half of this, uh, of this world. And you are going to guard against the orcs and make that buffer so that they cannot get to us. And we follow this mercenary band um, called the Grey Bastards, and it's not a large band. There's, I want like 10 of them. And they hold this fort, and they, that's what this story is all about. That's a fun setup. I like that a lot. The world building here is fun. And I love this darker atmosphere to it. I love that premise that I just went over. It's fun, and it, there's a lot of different ways that you can go. And as the book opens it up, um, these characters are doing very, you know, evil deeds. They're not good people. I love the way they communicate with each other. This like super, you know, dark sarcasm and dark humor and the way they interact kind of reminded me a little bit of The Black Company by Glenn Cook, um, a series that I will forever love. And it had a lot of those themes to it. Now, uh, this was not as good as that, but that's hard to be as good as that because uh, that's one of the pinnacles in the darker fantasy mercenary type story, uh, if not the pinnacle uh, when it comes to that sort of thing. But it, clearly, clearly Jonathan French read The Black Company before he wrote this. Um, I don't know that for a fact, but uh, I would be very shocked if he did not. But the story fell apart from that point, not in a horrible way, but it just slowed down. And I don't need my books to be super fast paced, but it felt like the plot wasn't really going the direction I was kind of hoping that it would go. And there were a lot of cool aspects. And, but that's all, that was the biggest part of it that I took was it was cool. And you know, the plot just wasn't, you know, gripping me like I, like I would hope it would. I mean, these, these half orcs are like riding these enormous pigs going into battle. It's, it's fun. And, but, it just kind of gets kind of sidelined here. There's this weird plot line with this elf that I did not enjoy. And so as I'm reading this and going along, I kept feeling like, you know, this book is gonna get a three out of five at best. Now, as many fantasy books do, um, the landing got stuck here. It definitely did. Um, towards the tail quarter of the book, things really picked up. Not so much just the pace, but the plot kind of got back on track. And I really enjoyed some previous things that I didn't like, kind of got brought back into it. 
um, in a positive way. There were some spins that I truly did not see coming uh, that made things a lot more enjoyable. And I thought that the character development from the main character and a couple of the side characters really started to finally kick in and made me kind of realize the development that was going on here with these characters and that I could sympathize with them a lot more, which I really need in my stories. And it ended in a place that had me very excited to go forward. Um, so I, I'm leaving this with a lot of optimism. Sometimes I give a four out of five and it feels like, you know, I, I liked it, but when it, when it sticks the landing, for me, that's a really, really positive thing. And it makes me excited no matter what the, the rest of the book had. But the fact that it has this amazing world and the fact that now the story's really like, I, I know these characters a lot better. I know what to expect going forward. Um, and, and now the plot has essentially been laid out on where we're going from here, uh, which is enjoyable. Now, uh, one thing that I did not like about this book, and it, I'm not gonna like knock a score off of it, but I don't know why authors do this. And not a ton of them do, but the naming of the books is frustrating because if you know the name of all these books, you can guess some major plot lines that are gonna happen. And that sucks. Mark Lawrence does this sometimes. Um, you know, he did the, the what was the Prince book? Uh, I don't remember, but something like Prince. And then the next book said King and the next book said Emperor. And it doesn't leave a lot to the imagination in terms of what's gonna happen in these books. And that's kind of what's happening here. Um, in fact, even the third book, what it's named, makes me kind of understand how that second book is going to end up. So that's a little frustrating. I don't know why authors do that. Keep your book titles a little more ambiguous uh, like most great authors do. And then nobody can guess what's gonna go on. So just a little bit of gripe from me, but I'm not gonna like hold that against the book quality. But overall, yeah, I like this. Um, are you going to like it? I don't know. Um, it's definitely not for everybody. I'm not gonna sit here and say, you know, this is gonna be universally loved. This book is not super popular. Um, but I think that if you're, if you're like me and you really like a darker story, if you're one of those people that are like the darker the better, um, you're, gonna, you're probably gonna walk away at least enjoying this, maybe loving it. If you are somebody that likes a more lighthearted story, that you like a good versus evil story, that you like a story with some redemption in it, that you like a story where you're rooting for certain characters. I don't know if this is gonna be for you because that's not, that's not what this is. That's not what this is trying to be. This is doing its own thing. This is um, telling a grim tale that probably doesn't end in a positive place, but maybe it does, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, but uh, that, that feels like the direction we're going here. So. For me, it worked. For you, I don't know. Um, you just judge kind of what I've said here and see if you should check it out. But I, I also think that you kind of got to finish this book up before you know what you feel about this series because I don't know that you're gonna love that middle portion of this book, um, no matter what you feel about things. I, I, I can't imagine somebody's gonna be out there saying, yeah, the middle of this book just rocked. I, I, would, I would be shocked if anybody had that perspective. So. Uh, I, I don't have a ton more to say. I am excited. I will continue on the series. I'm actually going to be continuing on later this month um, because I don't have a ton of audiobooks that I'm really excited to read like this. So yeah, I'm going to take a break by reading one other book in audio and that'll be coming right back to this uh, pretty soon. So uh, thank you so much for watching. This is going to be a little bit of a shorter review, but as always, happy reading to you. Thanks again to all of my patrons with a special shout out to my Ascendant tier patrons, CJ, Danu, Jamie, My Book Is Lit, Romeo Mike, Ron Reich, Russell, and Sky.